As uh, you know, the role of lenalidomide maintenance is well established after at least two large randomized trials that were published in 2012, one from uh, the French myeloma group and the other from the U.S. intergroup, uh, which led to the approval of lenalidomide as maintenance treatment for myeloma. And then... uh, a large uh, meta-analysis uh, looking at randomized trial, three large randomized trials uh, uh, confirmed that uh, LEN maintenance improves both progression-free and overall survival. So it is now standard of care. Uh, but there is still this uh, uh, concern, there is still uh, this understanding that it may perhaps not be uh, enough for patients who have high-risk chromosomal abnormalities. Uh, another unanswered question What's the duration of maintenance? The current uh, trend, at least in the U.S., is continue maintenance till progression. But are there patients that we are over-treating? Can we stop maintenance? So those were some of the things that we thought we would answer, we would try to answer or address from the database. So patients who received uh, uh, single-agent maintenance, uh, uh, which is the standard now, and we had about 1,200 patients patients who received single-agent lenalidomide as maintenance treatment. Uh, And we saw that uh, uh, the total duration in the database uh, was about two years. And again, uh, maintenance can be stopped because either patients progressed or patients uh, were unable to tolerate uh, the drug, but the median duration of maintenance was 22.8 months. But we had a long follow-up, and when we looked at the median progression-free survival, uh, this is these are all comers, high-risk, standard risk, uh, short follow-up, long follow-up, but that is, again, reassuringly uh, the same as was reported in earlier clinical trials. It was more than four years, so it was over 50 months of median progression-free survival. And we had a long follow-up. So we looked at the overall survival also. And again, for all comers, the median overall survival was about nine years or 106.8 months or so. So uh, people have done well. Uh, Of course, second primary malignancies, and they are all types. Uh, It could be from superficial skin cancer to secondary hematologic malignancies like myelodysplastic syndrome and AML. Overall, it was about 9%, uh, but most of those were solid tumors and most of those were localized superficial skin cancers. Uh, uh, So that is another thing. One other thing that we were able to show again is that uh, uh, lenalidomide maintenance improves progression-free survival and uh, it is consistent with other trials, but patients with high-risk chromosomal abnormalities, 414, translocation 414, translocation 1416, deletion 17P, or 1Q amplification, those patients did not get as much benefit from lenalidomide alone as maintenance treatment. So again, we and others have used this trend of using two drugs, uh, especially trying to incorporate either a proteasome inhibitor or an anti-CD38 antibody as maintenance for high risk. So again, the bottom line from this study was maintenance works. Of course, it has side effects, but it can be given for extended period of time. Second primary malignancies uh, are an issue and should be carefully watched. And then patients who have high-risk cytogenetics uh, perhaps need more than lenalidomide alone as maintenance.